Hey everybody, I'm Den Herring and welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365. Today we're going to do a bait review on the Megat Bass Hazadong Shad. So climb aboard and we'll talk all about the Megat Bass Hazadong Shad. So the first thing I think about when I think of Mega Bass is high quality baits. They make a number of very good baits. You have to pay for them, but if you're buying something from this company, it's generally going to be a very good bait. And that's what led me to buying the, uh, the Hazardong Shad. I was curious to see how this bait would work. You know, I'm a big fan of the Kitek Easy Shiner and the Kitek Swing Impact Fat. Uh, they are great uh, soft plastic swim baits. And more recently, I've tried the, uh, the Hazadong Shad and found it to be very effective. One of the things that I like about this bait that uh, is missing on the Easy Shiner and the Kitek baits is that this bait actually has eyes. And I do believe that sometimes that makes a difference. There's um, raised eyes on this bait. If there's a definite pupil, even on the small one here, you can see it's got eyeballs also and so I think that sometimes that that can make a difference especially in clear water so that's one of the uh, advantages I think of this bait now it comes in two sizes it comes in a three inch size which is what I have on this little jig head here and it comes in a uh, I believe let's see here it comes in a 4.2 inch size um, eventually I'm hoping that they come out with one bigger that, that's for as far as I know it's the only two sizes that this bait comes in but there are a number of ways to fish this bait it's got a little bit more of a subtle action than the swing impact fat that swing impact fat has that wide tail wag and the Hazadong Shad doesn't have that uh, that same wag there's a good thump on the tail you can see that this bait has it really narrows down here and it's got almost like a little boot tail so it's got good thump but it doesn't have that real wide wag but it does have a nice roll to the bait so when you're reeling this in the bait rolls quite nicely too and I think in very cold water this bait can be an advantage because it, it's just a little bit more subtle it doesn't have that wide action so anything below you know 45 degree water temperature this bait may be a little more effective at times uh, than the Swing Impact Fact, for example. I actually started fishing this bait this past summer and I was throwing the smaller size in clear water uh, under docks and I was using a drop shot. So I was actually nose hooking the bait and uh, I had about 12 to anywhere from 12 to 15, 16 inches of line between my, my bait and the drop shot weight. And one of the things that I caught fish on pretty consistently was throwing it in and around and under docks and just letting that, that uh, bait fall, that drop shot uh, weight would fall down to the bottom. This was generally in pretty deep water, 20, 25 feet. And then the Hazadong Shad would just follow it down. And I caught some really nice fish doing that. I caught smallmouth bass, I caught largemouth bass, some perch, chain pickerel, uh, a number of different species on, on the bait that way. The other way that I fished it in the fall was on this jig head. This is a Kitek jig head and uh, I've caught a number of fish in the fall just throwing this out, letting it go to the bottom and then just reeling it very slowly, just creeping it along just above the bottom on a slow steady retrieve. Every now and then I would pause the retrieve and then start again. I caught smallmouth bass, I caught perch, I caught crappies on the bait. So I found it to be a very effective bait. Now, I, I haven't really played around with the bigger size, so I'm looking forward to this spring and summer to see what I can do with the larger size bait. These baits have a belly that uh, has a slot in it, so it's, you have less plastic to tear the hook through when, uh, to, to, uh, if, you're, you know, if you're hooking it weedless, like on a Texas rig. And it, uh, so it has some nice features that way. Also, it's pretty easy to rig this with a jig head. You just go straight down just below the eyes and then bring the jig head out the back and that's what you want it to look like. Just have that straight rigging on the bait. So one of the things I'll be playing around with at uh, some, some of the less clear waters, water with a little more stain, is throwing the bigger size, the 4.2 inch, on the drop shot to see how that performs. 
I'm sure that's going to catch quite a few fish too, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Also, this on a, on a jig head has to be a killer bait, I would think. And uh, the other thing that uh, I haven't played with, but I intend to, is to put this on the back of a swim jig as my trailer, especially when the water is still cold, like in very early spring, like March, when the ice is coming off or when we're just getting back out on the water and that water is still very cold, maybe a little too cold to have a very active trailer. This could be a very good swim jig trailer to use and utilize and catch fish that way. So looking forward to making some videos where I'm featuring this bait a little bit more in the future. But this is a bait that I think is certainly a, a must have in your tackle if you're a serious bass fisherman. There's times, you know, where, where certain baits just outshine others. And if that swim, swim bait, soft swim bait bite is on, and maybe they don't want that uh, real wide swing of the swing impact, then this is the next one to try because it's got a different action. It's more of a rolling action, more subtle for that very cold water, for the very clear water. And uh, I found the bait to be quite effective. And again, I really like it, the fact that it has those eyes. So that's the review on the Hazardong Shad. If you liked the video, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more of these shorter videos in the future for uh, different types of bait reviews and give you my I've experienced with the bait uh, maybe what others are saying about the bait. I, I always check bait reviews on the forums and uh, at the uh, at the tackle supply websites. Usually you can find reviews. This one gets high reviews everywhere I looked. People who've actually fished with the bait give it high reviews. One of the things that I've read about this particular bait is that it holds up quite well, probably better than some of the others, so that you can catch multiple fish on it without having the bait tear up. And, and I found that to be true too. Um, I've used this one single bait for all of this, the fish that uh, I just showed you on the video, the small mouths, the perch, and the crappies, and it still is in perfect shape. It's not damaged in any way. Now what I do though is I glue it to the jig head. So uh, I just use a little bit of super glue and I glue that on there after I thread it on and it keeps it on there real nice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about the channel, hope to see you out in the water as always. We're certified bassified, and may God bless your fishing endeavors.